As you can see, we can get the latest updates only with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. Hello everybody, you are on Andrei Mihalovich channel. Today I'm going to run Tiny 1122H2 version, literally it is the same Windows 11 Pro in virtual box, but I will allocate only 2GB of RAM and 16GB of storage. I'm making this video for people who have old computers and I think it will be much easier for those type of people to understand how Tiny11 will work with such a low specs. So before this video start, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. So let's get started. My friends, we are in the Windows and as you can see, I already installed Oracle VM VirtualBox. Now I'm going to show you where you can download and install VirtualBox. So for this you need to open your browser, in my case it will be Google Chrome. Then you just need to type VirtualBox and press enter. After this you may see downloads, you need to click on it. Here you may see Windows host. After you click on it, it will automatically download on your laptop or computer. It is very easy. Okay, after you installed VirtualBox, you need to download Tiny11. So for this, we need to open a new page and then you need to type next. Tiny11 download and press enter. Here you may see Tiny11. We need to click here. Link will be in the video description. Please pay attention. From this website, we can download and install Tiny11. If we scroll down a little bit, here you may see Windows 11 Pro 22H2. And here we can download Tiny11. We need to find ISO image, click on it, and it will automatically download on our laptop or computer. I will click on my PC, go to the downloads folder, just to show you that I already downloaded Tiny11. So after you installed VirtualBox and downloaded Tiny11 on your laptop or computer, you can run VirtualBox. We need to click on it. If you run VirtualBox, you will see this window. To run Tiny11, we need to click on new. Then, for the example, I will type Tiny. 11 here iso image i will select tiny 11 iso file click on other in my case i need to go to the downloads folder select tiny 11 open okay here you may leave everything by default and after that we need to click next so the most important moment i will allocate only two gigabytes of ram that's mean 2048 megabytes and I will use two cores. Don't check this option EFI and click next. In this window, I will allocate 16 gigabytes of memory. Previously, I tried to allocate 8 gigabytes of memory and it worked not stable. Then I allocate 10 gigabytes of memory and it worked but then crash. And then I allocate 12 gigabytes of memory. It works stably, but I think 12 gigabyte will be not enough. So I decide to allocate 16 gigabytes. It's like small SD card. So 16 gigabytes of memory will be the best solution if we're talking about the minimum memory size. So after that, we just need to click next and click finish. Actually, after this process, you can run Tiny11. So let's click on it, double clicking. So let's open it in full screen. I will click here on view, full screen. To open it in full screen, we need to press right control plus F. Okay, we are in the installation window. Here we can select the language and click next. Check this option. Another time, click next. We need to select our hard drive, and as you can see, it has 16 gigabytes of memory. We need to click here on new, apply, OK. Wait a few minutes. Now we can select second partition, partition 2. And here you may see message. To install this version of Windows, the system drive needs to be 52 gigabytes. If we're talking about Windows 11, 
Yes, this is true, but the thing is, we're trying to install Tiny11, so we can click on our partition and click Next. My friends, now we just need to wait until Tiny11 22H2 version will be installed in VirtualBox. The installation finish, VirtualBox restart. Now we can prestige to the next stage, select your country, for the example it will be United States. Select keyboard layout which suits you the best. And voila, now we can type our username, literally it is local account. User1, click next. I don't want to create a password, I will click next. And definitely now I recommend to uncheck all of these options, we can scroll down a little bit. We don't need them and click accept. My friends, we are in the virtual box in the tiny 1122H2. So what do we see here? Actually, we see the same Windows 11 Pro 22H2. If you take a close look, you may not find Microsoft Edge browser. And that's mean we can choose which browser we want to install. So let's go to the file manager to check how many free space do we have. And here you may see local disk C and if we move the mouse cursor on it, you may see that we have 6.32 gigabytes free space and this is impressive because actually we're running Windows 11 22H2 version on 16 gigabyte SD card. Probably we can name it as SD card or HD drive, actually it doesn't matter, it runs with 16 gigabytes of memory and let's go to the settings let's check for some updates can virtualbox get the latest updates windows update check for updates and let wait a few minutes as you can see we can get the latest updates only with 2 gigabytes of ROM and 16 gigabytes of storage that's hilarious i will click on the system and now we can look at the specification of VirtualBox. Previously I said that my laptop have Intel Core i3 processor of third generation, two cores, four threads, 2.4 GHz, 2 GB of RAM that we previously allocate and if we scroll down a little bit here you may see Windows 11 Pro 22H2 version. Very important thing that you need to know that you still need to have a license key to activate Windows. Okay, we will close this window. But you need to understand if you only have 16 gigabytes of memory, you will not be able to install application because it needs more space. But definitely it all depends on you. If you want, you can try it. One more time, Tiny11 is the same Windows 11 but without trash, without Microsoft Edge browser and other unuseful components of Windows 11. My friends, I think it will be more than enough for today. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know more about Tiny11, I recommend to click here on this video. Click right now.